Let's see how we are going to expand a binomial to a third power. And because this is to the third power, I don't really want to write this down three times and then multiply it out the traditional way. Let's actually use the Pascal's triangle to figure out the coefficients, and then I'll show you guys how to construct the answer. And in fact, that's called the binomial theorem. So let's take a look right here for the Pascal's triangle. We start with 1, and technically this is the zeroth row. And the next row is to have 1, 1, and then you have 1, so you can see all this right here will be 1, like what's that? This number here it will be 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then you maintain the 1 right here. So that's the third row, right? But we count the S. 2, yeah. 0, first, and then second. And because we are trying to get to the third power, so you want to see S3 right here, so it's the next row. So we have 1, and we add 1 and 2, which is 3, and then we add 2 and 1, which is 3, and then you have that 1. So this is the third row. And if you don't want to write this down every single time, I'll have a better way for you guys. Whenever you have the power to the fourth power, you can just do this. In fact, 11 to the third power is equal to 1331. It works the same for the next one, 11 to the fourth power. This right here is 14641. Let's have a look. Look, 1, and then you add these two together, you add these two together, and you add them together, and you have the 1. I'm going to leave the next one for you guys to think about. Yeah, yeah. But let's just go ahead and expand that first. Okay, now we know the coefficients. We start with 1. Again, 3 corresponds with that. So the first coefficient is 1 times this term to the third power. So we have x to the third power. And we don't have the street y, just leave it. Next, because we have a minus here, we are going to alternate it, the signs. This is positive, the next term it will be negative, and then we will need to multiply 3 for the coefficient here. And then we take x raised to the second power, because you have to drop the power by 1. And then you will put 3y to the first power. And then we continue. Positive, negative, the next one will be positive. And then the number here is 3. And then we take x and then raise to the first power. Because 3, 2, 1. The power goes down by 1 every time. And we put 3y to the second power. You see, no 3y, 3y to the first, and then 3y to the second. Lastly, it's 1, but again, the sign alternates, so it would be a minus, and then we have the 1, and we put 3y to the third power. And notice that there is no more x right here for the last term. So that's the setup, and now we can just multiply out everything and then just put them together. So ladies and gentlemen, we have x to the third power. This is 3 times 3, so we have minus 9x squared y. And this right here is 9 times 3 is 27, so plus 27, x and then y squared. And lastly, 3 to the third power is 27, and that's a minus, so minus 27, y to the third power. And this is it. Okay, now I'll tell you guys a secret. Unfortunately, for the fifth power right here, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. I'll show you though. I'll put this down in blue. Look. 1, and then 1 plus 4 is 5, and then 4 plus 6 is 10, so the next number here is 10, and then do this again, and then do this again, and then do this again. The truth is, when we have 11 to the 5th power, this right here is not equal to 1, 5, 1, 0, 1, 0, 5, 1. It's not like this. Because you have to look at each number right here as a placeholder. This has two digits, no good. We have to actually take this and then put it there, carry over. So in fact, we have 1 and then 6. And notice that this 0 here, but again, this is a 1, 0. So we have to take the 1 and then carry over. So we actually have a 1. And this is 0 and then 5 and then 1. So yeah, unfortunately, if you want to figure out the coefficients. Uh, you can do 11 to the fourth power up to here, 
but anything after that, I would still recommend you guys to just write down the rules. Or maybe you hope that nobody asks you like the fifth power or like the seventh power. But anyway, that's it.